I think the burden of leadership is to lead, to have a vision, to put the ideas out there, to work so that people begin to understand them. The simple truth is that Americans at home and abroad are safer if our country is liked rather than feared, and if our leaders are admired rather than disliked. That affects all of us as Americans. That doesn't mean we shouldn't protect ourselves when it's necessary, but it does mean that we have to pay due attention to the regard of others. And you're not going to solve the problem abroad of America's image by Madison Avenue gimmickry and slick brochures. It's about America's conduct in the world. People love America out there. People even in the Islamic world love the United States. They vote with their feet. They want to come here and live. They want to live under the laws and the kind of society that we have. But there's concern about the direction of the government and about our incredible power and the fact that we seem to use it without full consultation and full appreciation of the views of others. And so whether that's the personality of one person, whether it's a characteristic way of doing business, uh, that, that, that's beside the point. What is important is that Americans at home should understand that their safety is enhanced and our prosperity and future is enhanced if we're liked, admired, and respected around the world.